What is up guys, EJ here, back with another video. And today it's going to be my DVD collection for 2012 and uh, part 2 of the television section. Uh, the last part of this uh, DVD collection series. Uh, before we get started, I want to thank everybody who's been watching these and commenting on these. If you've watched all these videos, uh, thank you very much. Um, it's been a, been a long journey, too long perhaps. Um, I also should have mentioned that I've uh, been putting annotations in each of the videos in the top left and top right corners. If you want to go back um, a video, you can uh, click on the link above to the left. And if you want to go forward, um, obviously you can do that as well. Except on uh, this video, there won't be, won't be any more, so uh, you can only go back on this video. So, uh, TV Part 2, let's uh, get started. So, last time we finished with the M's. Starting with the ends, we have a New Girl, the complete first season. Awesome show, one of my favorite new comedies of uh, last year. I've uh, been watching it this year as well. Zoe Deschanel, great. Um, uh, the guy who plays uh, Nick, Nick Miller, is uh, hilarious. Um, Schmidt, played by Max Greenfield, is absolutely great. And uh, the girl who plays uh, Cece, uh, very good looking. Yeah, very funny. Um, it took a couple episodes to to find its stride, but I really enjoy it now. It's it's a great show. Next, we have uh, the Office complete series one and two, and the special. Of course, this is the uh, the original British show with uh, Ricky Gervais. I've uh, never been a fan of uh, the American Office. I know a lot of people like it, and it's a good show, and it's been running a long time now. But um, yeah, I uh, really like uh, the British one. Speaking of British, we have uh, Oh Doctor Beeching. Uh, the complete first and second series. Um, this is from the same uh, people who made uh, Heidi High, uh, Paul Shane, and uh, Jeffrey Hammond, uh, most notably, and uh, was it Sue Pollard? Um, yeah. Um, not as good as Heidi High or the other show that I'm going to get to as well. Speaking, <coughs> Speaking of more British shows, sorry about that, uh, we have Outnumbered. Complete series one to four. Um, I only just got into this um, a few months ago. Uh, I happened to catch some uh, clips on YouTube from this show. Uh, absolutely hilarious about this family in uh, South London. Um, yeah, th these uh, two parents raising their three kids. Uh, just hilarious. Uh, the girl who plays Karen is um, priceless. Um, just hilarious. It's just so funny. Okay, next we have. Uh, Rome, the complete series, a uh, great show that was on um, HBO, um, which I need to watch, actually, because uh, I haven't watched it. Anyway, next we have uh, Saved by the Bell, a uh, big Saved by the Bell fan, I'm not going to lie. Um, especially, well, the original uh, show and, of course, the uh, Miss Bliss years, which I'm not even sure are on, available on DVD. Uh, but, of course, uh, Mark Paul Goslar. Uh, Zach A.C. Slater, played by uh, Mario Lopez, and Screech, Dustin Diamond. Um, Kelly Kapowski, the great uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. And, of course, Elizabeth Berkeley as uh, Jesse Spano. Um, so, yeah, I've got seasons uh, one and two, seasons three and four, season uh, five, which is an odd one because it added uh, the girl Tori. Who basically replaced Jesse and Kelly for one year, like their senior year in high school, it made no sense. After the the original six graduated, uh, don't ask me how that worked. Also have uh, the college years, um, not as good as the high school years, obviously, but uh, still pretty good. Um, I believe uh, Bob Golick is in it, uh, the brother of Mike Golick, if you know, uh, know the sportscaster. Uh, they're former NFL players. And I also got the uh, two uh, Saved by the Bell movies, um, Wedding in Las Vegas and Hawaiian Style. I should have said those the opposite way around because Wedding in Las Vegas is basically the ending of the original uh, Saved by the Bell series when uh, Zach and Kelly uh, finally get married. Okay, moving on, we have uh, Scrubs. 
uh, the complete series. Uh, really great show, of course, with, uh, I have no idea what his name is. Um, Zach Braff, yeah, sorry. I uh, love, uh, what's the name, uh, the girl. She's got a weird name, Sarah Chalky, that's it. Or Chalk, uh, really, really good. Great show set in the hospital. Um, yeah, season two. Let's not go through all these. Season three, season four, season five, six, seven, eight, and the final uh, ninth season. Okay, moving on, we have uh, Seinfeld, probably my all time favorite show. Um, of course, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Um, Michael Richards, um, Jason Alexander, and Julie Louis Dreyfus, uh, just the best. I watch uh, Seinfeld and reruns pretty much every night still. So that was seasons uh, one and two, volume one, volume two, season three, uh, volume volume three, season four, volume four, season five, volume five, season six, volume six, season seven. Volume 7, Season 8, and Volume 8, Season 9. Okay, next we have uh, Sex and the City, the complete series. Um, yeah, Sarah Jessica Parker. It's a good show, I'm not going to lie. I hated the movies, though. The two movies were terrible, especially the second one. My God. Um, but, yeah, I do like the show. I like, uh, what's the name, um, Kim Cattrall. She's she's very funny on the show. Um, but yeah, not really, not really my thing to be honest. But yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I, I enjoyed the show. Um, yeah, third season, season uh, four. One of these has two parts. Five. Uh, season six has two parts. Part one and part two, sort of in these uh, clear cases as well. Okay, moving on, we have uh, some mothers do have them. Uh, Great British. Uh, comedy from the 70s starring uh, Michael Crawford a uh, hilarious sort of slapstick uh, physical comedy just great uh, grew up watching that I've only watched a couple of those since I got this so I need to watch the whole thing same thing with like Mr. Bean next we have Sons of Anarchy season one um, yeah I started watching season, uh, Sons of Anarchy when it started I watched like the first six or seven episodes and then I stopped watching it for some reason I have to get back on this show. I need to pick up the other seasons. Obviously, they're up to like five now. Um, uh, Katie Scal, great, and uh, Ron Perlman, and uh, the other kid in it, who's uh, Charlie Hunnam, great too. Uh, so yeah, I've only seen the first six or seven episodes of Sons of Anarchy. Uh, shame on me. Speaking of uh, shame on me, uh, The Sopranos, the complete series. Um, I haven't seen this. Uh, second. Uh, screw it, let's not pull them all out. Two, three, four, and six, part one, six, part two, right up against the wall here. So, um, moving on, sort of bad angle. We have South Park, got to go to them all. Uh, one, two, three. Um, been a while since I've watched South Park. Uh, four, it's really tight in there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, I'm not sure if there's a 15th out yet, or if it is, I, I'm not aware of it. It probably is, I just haven't look, sort of looked it up yet. Anyway, love South Park, obviously. Uh, Cartman, great. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Parker and Trey Stone, uh, hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I've watched South Park. Next we have Spaced, uh, the complete series. Um, just hilarious for the show, of course, starring, uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost um, before they made uh, Shaun of the Dead. Um, yeah, just a hilarious show. <clears throat> British TV, always the best. Okay, next we have uh, Spartacus, Blood and Sand, another show I need to watch. Again, I watched like the first couple episodes when it started, um, so I need to get on that. These are on Blu ray. Also, there's a new season out on Blu ray as well. Also, have uh, the second one. Gods of the Arena, haven't watched, oh, I'm really bad on TV, I need, there's like so much TV I haven't watched that I need to catch up on. Anyway, next we have uh, That 70s Show, the complete series, uh, one of my favorite shows as well, just a, a great show, even though it's set in the 70s, it has the sensibility of the 90s, uh, 2000s, uh, Tiff for Grace and uh, 
Laura Pupon, great, as is the supporting cast, of course, uh, Mila Kunis and uh, Ashton Kutcher and so on. Um, yeah, I really love that 70s show. So that's season two, season three, season four, five. Then we get thinner, season six. I hate it when they do that. Um, I wish they just, if you're going to go with this, make them all like that. Not, don't change them like six seasons in. Uh, what are we up to? Seven. And the final season, eight. Next we have uh, Undeclared. Um, great show uh, that Judd, App Judd Apatow did after uh, Freaks and Geeks. Um, with some, some of the same uh, cast members. Um... Charlie Hunnam, who was in the Sons of Anarchy, of course. Uh, Seth Rogen and Jay Baruchel. Uh, Monica Kina, really uh, <laughs> nice looking bod as well. Uh, good, good show about a, uh, like, freshmen in college. Uh, again, only one season, though. Okay, not as good as Freaks and Geeks, but still pretty good. Next, we have uh, The Walking Dead, uh, the complete first season. Everybody loves The Walking Dead. It's one of the best shows on TV right now. At least season three is. One and two have major problems. Uh, I'm not going to lie. The, some of the characters are awful. Some of the writing is terrible. Um, but it's a show about zombies. Everybody loves that. Uh, second season uh, was a little bit better. But they spent way too much time on the farm. Um, and uh, yeah. Lori, just a horrible character. So glad uh, what's happened to her now. And I wasn't a huge fan of, uh, what's his name? Shane either. Um, so glad, uh, but my three favorite characters are Rick, even though he's sort of going off the rails at the moment, um, Glenn, who's been awesome, uh, this season, I absolutely love, uh, Glenn, and of course, uh, oh, what's his name, uh, the guy that Norman Reedus plays, uh, Dale, uh, he's, if, it, if the show was about those three characters, I'd be totally happy, because those are my favorite characters. Anyway, moving on, uh, we have The Wind in the Willows, a uh, great British um, sort of puppet animation uh, show from my childhood. Decided to pick these up. Uh, been ages since I've seen them. The first one is like a little movie. Uh, and then we have the complete first series of these same characters, uh, Mr. Toad, uh, the Mole, Rat, and uh, Badger. Um, yeah. <laughs> Basically, woodland creatures fighting against uh, weasels and uh, shit like that. Um, really sort of cutesy and fun. Um, yeah, there's, what is that, uh, second series. And uh, A Tale of Two Toads, probably a mini-movie after the two series. Anyway, next we have uh, The Wire, the complete uh, series. Uh, the complete first season, which I did watch after I watched it. I mean, after I got it, I didn't see this when it was on TV. Um, and unfortunately, I haven't cracked open the second season, uh, which I really need to do as well. And now I have all uh, all five. Uh, great show. The first season was awesome. So definitely looking forward to uh, finishing The Wire at some point. Uh, four season. And uh, fifth season. And uh, last but not least, the last DVD I'm going to show in these series of videos, uh, we have Yuang, my lord, uh, from the same people who made uh, Heidi High and uh, Oh Dr. Beeching. This came uh, after Heidi High and before Oh Dr. Beeching. Again with uh, Paul Shane, Sue Pollard, and Jeffrey Hammond. Uh, this is my favorite of the three. It's just a fantastic show that ran in the late 80s, early 90s that I watched in England when it was on. Uh, just a great comedy, hour-long comedy about a uh, sort of a, uh, a mansion, um, big great house in London, and the servants who uh, serve it, sort of in that sort of uh, Downton Abbey, um, Gosford Park mold, uh, but very funny, it's really touching, all the characters are awesome, uh, Paul Shane is just great, um, one of my favorite shows as a kid. And I, I watched it when I was, uh, when it came out, like 11, 12 years old. Uh, still one of my favorite shows. So there you have it. That is my uh, DVD collection. Finishing off with uh, D TVs Part 2. So again, if you've uh, stuck with it this long, thank you very much for watching. Um, this is the last time I'm going to do this. Because <laughs> it just took way too long to do this. 
um, yeah, I started in like September doing these, and here we are in February, obviously. So yeah, until uh, next time, I'll see ya. Bye.